Tonight, police are still searching for the driver who allegedly hit a 64-year-old man in front of his home in East El Paso. The victim's family is asking for the person responsible to come forward and do the right thing. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasia Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler is live in East El Paso for us tonight where the incident happened. She spoke to the family earlier today. And Carla, what are they telling you? Good evening, Natasha and Andy. Well, this is just a devastating time for the family. On July 19th, uh, Jose Jones got hit right here off McLean uh, in Far East El Paso in front of his building. And now all his family wants is the person who did it to come forward because they do need that closure. A family tree. He's not, he's not, he's not just a trash can you accidentally hit. He's a man. Shaken to the core. This is very devastating for the family. Jose Jones, a husband, father of three, a brother of five siblings, and a caretaker for his mother with dementia, is now in a coma after being struck by a car. It was an accident. You got scared. You took off. It's okay to be sorry and say, hey, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't, I should have stopped. I should have. I should have called 911. And now his family wants the person who did it to come forward. We, we all forgive you. We, forgive, we know it was an accident. Just come forward and say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I left you there. This is where Jones was trying to cross the street from his neighbor's house back to his house right here. However, he got struck by a car and his neighbor found him laying on the ground. Security footage from neighbors' homes shows a dark colored sedan, but El Paso police tell KTSM they're unable to identify the driver. There's no anger or, or shame or hatred that is going to come from the family. We just kind of want it. Closure. His family hopes a person will confess and say if Jose was awake, he would have nothing but forgiveness for the person who struck him. He would make them popcorn, make them sit down, and he would just tell them he loves them. And now all that is left for them is hope for Jose to wake up. He's the popcorn man. He's the guy that makes popcorn for everybody. He's just Jose. He's just Jose. There's, there's so much to him. And gather the whole family around a bowl of his famous popcorn. And Jones's sister tells me so far he has had two neck surgeries and most likely if he does wake up, he's going to be paralyzed from his shoulders down. Reporting in Far East El Paso, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you.